welcome back to Nightly Nerds. I'm Tote. And I'm Ginger. And we're playing... Ooh. Uh, Chrono Trigger. <laughs> Ooh. All the different times we can go to? Yeah. I think we need to go to Medina Village. Isn't that the time that we were at? Yeah. He I said to go back to your time, right? Yes. But I did notice that there was 65 million BC. Yeah, okay, I remember why now. Oh, no. I like this. I like this part of the... Oh, yeah, everyone's gone, right? No, no, not everyone's gone. It's, uh... This is, uh... This is the monster side of the world. They're not... They're not bad guys. They're just... People. It was founded by ancient... Anse uh, by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful. There's an odd man who lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Thanks. Why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. Humans fought mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. Well, aren't you just a progressive little mystic? Yeah, so if we go here... So I guess going back to what we were talking about earlier, the last couple episodes, <laughs> there is, a, you know, forgiveness on things, you know? But it's like, what can you forgive and what can you trust to forgive? You know what I mean? Yeah, like... Uh, like, can I trust uh, Chris Brown not to beat up his next girlfriend? I don't know. Seems to be a serial abuser. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't want to support him. Melchior. Ah, hello. Can I interest you in a weapon? Yes, I'd like to buy one. Can I trust Kevin Spacey not to try to sexually assault <laughs> young teenage boys? I don't know if I can. Should I buy the katana or should I give someone else a weapon? Well, it's up to you. You have the bolt thing, right? Yeah, I have the lightning one, and that one's magic plus two. So that would... And I am I can do a lightning damage, so that might be a better purchase. It would up my magic damage so that I can cast a lightning spell to do... Yeah. Because the Robin bow, she already has. Hammer arm, she, he already has. I'm not using Luca right now, and it, so it doesn't benefit yeah. me. Yeah, so you might as well just... Get what you got. And I'll keep Chrono super tanky too. Cause he's our he's our big guy. He's our big boy. Yeah, uh like I'm easy to forgive, but I'm not easy to trust. Yeah. Like, there's that whole like I think we talked about this before. Can you separate the artist from their work? Yeah. You know, so like it just kinda depends on what it is, you know? I mean it's easier with music and stuff, so I guess I understand why some people will you know, you don't have to see the person. Yeah. You can separate their voice from their person, you know, but... Like, I couldn't watch Bill Cosby comedy special. Yeah. You know? Which is sad, because, man, he was good. He, he was, was one of the masters, but he's evil. And he's freaking evil. There's some differences in what you do, and that was pretty evil. Death to mystic enemies. <laughs> what was that? Dave Chappelle does that joke? That, like... He raped over 50 women or something like that was the number. Oh, jeez. And each one of those rapes lasted multiple hours. So if they were at least an hour each, because, you know, he'd knock them out and, like, do stuff with them. And so they were, you know, there's time. Yeah. He's like, he has over 500 hours of rape time. So that's, you only need, like, 100 to be a pilot. Wow. <laughs> he's like, not only is he, like, the master of, one of the masters of comedy, he's one of the masters of that. It's horrible, but it's like, jeez. Octobloosh. I know there's just a woman that came forward. Who knows how many didn't? Yeah. How many may have passed and didn't have an opportunity to come forward? Those who just don't want to come forward? It's insane. And you gotta think of that with everybody, right? Because, like, like, look, look at a Ted Bundy, right? Yeah. He was only, I think, officially, like, credited. I guess it was a weird way of saying it, but... Where they could, like, pretty much prove that he was involved with, I think, 30 different women's deaths or disappearances. And I think it was less than that that he officially was, like, charged with. Like, uh, the books were officially closed on them. Like, maybe 15 or 16 of them. Yeah. But they think it might even be higher than the 30 that they are they connect him to. Like, it could be up in the 40s or 50s. Which is like, gosh, I mean, how many girls went missing, especially back then, you know? Yeah. In the 60s and 70s, 
free love. The, the highway system was like all perfect. So you could just go anywhere, and there was the communication between departments wasn't the same as it is today. It's insane. Like free reign for serial killers and you know serial abusers and stuff back in the day. Will laser spin hurt these guys. As much as we're all afraid of our you know, privacy and stuff being invaded by the government at the same time, it's, it's harder for those thing. people to get away with that yeah. shit. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Beetles. Beetles, okay. Reminds me of like the roly polies. Kind of, yeah. I kind of see that. It looks like it's butts connected to the floor, like yeah. a spider or something. Like it's a praying mantis mixed with the roly poly. With a spider's Hercules beetle? Abdomen. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Do you ever see that? There's like a... There's like this YouTube page or something that did like bug fighting. Oh, yeah. Where they put two bugs in a jar They're or something. Vicious. <laughs> I don't know how like legit it was. Usually the bugs just kind of looked at each other. Or maybe knocked one of the other bugs over, but... Oh, that's right. Or a beam. But they give like a wind scorpion in there or a... What, do you, what is that? It's a, what do they call it in Iraq? Um, camel spider. Oh yes, those like freaking rip other bugs apart because that's what they do. They hunt bugs and eat them. I remember being on YouTube for quite a while. I wonder if it still is, because it's just bugs. But at the same time, people get weird about stuff like that. Like when PETA released that uh, statement when they were kicking the robots over. Oh yeah. For the uh, Boston Dynamics. It's so stupid. Kind of like, you shouldn't kick the robots. Like, they're testing it to see if it can stand up on its own. They're trying to make sure it could be... It can resist being kicked. That it can survive on its own. And I don't know how happy I am about that. In fact, if anything, we should be kicking them more. <laughs> like, so they don't. Hold them no, down. We don't, want, we don't want to kick it, because we don't want to make it stronger. Maybe PETA has a point. Maybe they do have a point. We don't want robot overlords. <laughs> Unless it's you, Google. Then we're okay with it. You know, I'm actually- I'm I just, your servant. <laughs> I like Google a lot. I'll still get three. Yeah, yeah. Bum ba dum bum bum ba dum 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 Rocket roll. Rocket roller coaster. Shot down in Southern California. Oh, that was cool. What was that one called? Rocket roll. Rocket roll. Yep. We can't find. I. I. So far, we don't have the uh, right synergy for a triple tech. But man, I love some of the double tech. So we get. Oh, we get spin cut soon. Ooh. Ooh, and 137 AP. She gets Kira in 127. He gets Robo Tackle in 94. Napalm. Same. Okay. Those fat bats. <laughs> They're like flying pugs. <laughs> With the buggy eyes and stuff. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I'm sure I've shared it with you before, but have I have I showed you the video of Pug Party? Yes. <laughs> Pug Party! God is dead! We killed him! Why? Shut the fuck up! Uh, <laughs> like, I can't, like, the way the sounds that Pug was making, you can't tell if it was happy or just, just so... Annoyed. Or just so fresh or just like... Oh. He's probably excited, but... Probably. Stop stealing my blood. I need that in my body. I need the blood. Body language. Ha ha. The men up there don't like a lot of blabber. They think a girl that gossips is a bore. So, as I just mentioned earlier, I, I just read Pride and Prejudice. Yeah. And I was just doing a little research afterwards, and there was people complaining about it being too gossipy. It's very gossipy. I mean, that's the whole point. That's all like... That's what the whole point of the her, story is. That's all her books are. Yeah, it, it, it was supposed to be... This is what it's like to be... Because oh, it was... There's there's love stories and there's there's a plot and stuff. But that's all just to showcase her... Uh, 
shining a, I'm pointing a mirror on society. Basically, she was saying, this is what it's like to be a woman in this society. This is all you do all day yeah. is gossip in that society. At the time, this women only had so many rights and yeah. can only do so much. Shelter. I was just like, this is funny that that's what they were saying. Like, that was their, uh, their take from it. It's too gossipy. I can't read this. Uh, I think it's fantastically written and it's a great book. So I think... As is, you know, Mansfield Park and... Others. Death of its to ilk. mystic enemies. I mean, if you look at like uh, Dickens stuff, it's very similar. I mean, look at um, what's the one? Not Oliver, but the other one. Uh, Great Expectations. Yes. Essentially, it's like Jane Eyre, but it's the boy version. I mean, not a hundred percent, but I mean. It's about moving up in society and stuff. There are, there's no great battles or action. Yeah. It was just someone was uh, someone had that as their takeaway too, like as a uh, they're like a sci-fi adventure reader. Yeah. And they just couldn't get into it, and I was like, I'm totally, I love those things, and I can still totally get into it. I think it just depends on your mindset going in. Oh yeah, that's right. That one messes messes you up. I remember I don't want Robo for this one because I just want to blast him with magic. Because Robo's like mostly physical. Well, Robo can do that. Um, can do that uh, shadow type damage with his lasers, but it's not as strong as actual magic. Come on, get out of that stance. Thank you. When he's in that stance, he'll counterattack. Ah. Give uh, give Chrono some live. So you can also heal. Yeah, cure beam. Ah, it's the uh, earliest form of the cure spell. Discotech, discotech. <laughs> I don't get how lasers can do shadow damage. I mean, they're light. I, uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe, the, maybe those are the, like, the opposite of a photon. Maybe. I don't know if there is an opposite of a dark matter laser. Thank you for washing my body. <laughs> it's honestly what it looks like sometimes. Was this guy called Hecran? Yep, Hecran. I don't remember how much HP he has, but I'm just, I'm just gonna soldier on. Yeah. I'm in no danger. Yes, indeed. Oh. You know, let's let's give let's give everyone some love real quick. Oh yeah, he's counterattacking anyways. Good timing. Laser beam, laser beam. <laughs> Jeez, this guy is tanky. I know there's a purpose to this because I, I believe we need to come here for uh, something for frog. Like it's the only way to in initiate the next part of like frog's story. You do you, boo boo. They're gonna have some discotech. 
That sound that makes, it reminds me of something I cannot think of what it is. Shoot, that's gonna hurt. Unless you kill him. Nope, that's gonna hurt. Oh. That's gonna really hurt. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Wow. You know, we're, we're killing some time. Might as well just... Come on. Oh, oh there it is. 250 experience just for that long fight. If only the great Magus who lived, or who brought forth Lavos 400 years ago had destroyed the human race, the world would have belonged to us mystics. Grrr. Grrr. Left, right, pose. <laughs> In the Middle Ages, Lavos, Magus created Lavos, who is responsible for destroying the planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and destroy Magus, can we change history? Hey, Chrono, we could use the gate at the fairgrounds. Sure, there's a big swirly vortex of water. How are you not dead, Robo? <laughs> He's waterproof. All right, that'll end this episode. All right, everybody, that'll end this episode of Nightly Nights. As always, I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hey, did you like that video? Well, if you did, click the box on the right for another. Click the box on the left for a playlist. Of course, you could always just subscribe by clicking the link in the middle. Come find us on social media. There are links in the description below. Don't be afraid to leave us a comment. Thanks for watching. I'm Tote. I'm Ginger. See you then. Bye.